But right out of the gate, we're going to do some fun stuff right here, right now. Oh. We're going to go right to the family. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, Jamie Renee Alvey said, really love tonight's episode. Love the idea of using the Golden Girls for the intro. Well, of course, that's the great Rod Stickler. Uh, Dermite Boosh. I've never seen Curly Chris. That was a treat. Sadly, I don't have early 80s memories. I wasn't born until a little later. Okay, whatever. It's okay. We don't fault you. Eh, no problem. Ian Alex K, best show on the internet. Tell the corporation that. They're kind of holding out on us. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, Noja Griffin, this is a kick-ass show. Uh, Regan Walker, this one's for you, Ribo. Hey, Chris, Spewey, and Ribo, what's a genius? A genius is a genius with a oh, soft okay. ye instead of a soft yay. Is it, can you explain? Is there a reason why we don't say the yays on? Uh, I'm not is? sure. Well, I mean, it's uh, well, you know what? I think this is funny because this joke went way beyond before you were Chris Jericho and you went down to Mexico and they couldn't pronounce Jericho, they pr pronounced it Jericho, they didn't pronounce Had it Jericho. Cool. So, but before that, even we had the, the the whole soft yay thing. But then it, somehow we said, "Oh, let's just make it G's too. We'll just go. We'll make it soft yees." What, what's your what's your thoughts on that? I think it's it's just one of those stupid things we did, like Yumbo Video. We don't say J's or uh, V's, and here we are transforming that into a show that uh, tens of thousands of people are watching. And the corporation is definitely watching right now as well. So oh, hope the geez. corporation appreciates this. John Belende says, very entertaining show. It's right. Jan Belende, but okay, go ahead. It's Yiddish. <laughs> Margaret Ormelia <laughs> says, our three favorite idiots. Oh, Very, very nice. Very touching. So sweet. And, so sweet. Thank you. And Guitar Rocks, Guitar Rocks says, changes on Pemina Highway. OMG, I never went, but my girlfriend at the time used to go to piss me off. LAO, love the show. So corporation um there's no update this week because you haven't said it actually yeah, there's a little bit of update i'm not going to play the intro because we don't need to go that pop and circumstance but um i told them they gave us a deck a couple okay. weeks ago which we explained which is kind of what people will read to decide whether they want to take a meeting with us because in hollywood you never take you never have a meeting you take one okay it's kind of similar to dave taking you know toilet oh, yeah, yeah. um <laughs> but uh, i i had a couple things for them to change they changed one of them did not change the other one really pissed off i went on a fucking tangent on them pretty pissed oh, off man. great oh yeah. awesome if you look at the deck the shirts that we're wearing say what spiwi and ribo and Irvas. yeah right yeah that's the way we've been selling them. That's how it's always been. That's how it is. The yeah, pictures, the however, are Ribo, Irvas, and Spiwi. Really? It's out of order. That bothers me, too. Let's throw them on the ban list. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the corporation's on the ban list. <laughs> oh, right, that would, right. That, that, how punk rock would that be? Oh, yeah, you yeah. want to be a true artist, Dave? Let's throw the corporation on the band list. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do true it? Artist. No, let's not do it. I mean, it's not hard to figure out. Spiwi, you. Ribo, him. Irvas, yeah. me. Instead, it's Ribo, Spiwi. Sorry, it's Spiwi. They got it all out of order. So this was yeah, the big said, edit you were talking about? <laughs> the t-shirts? Well, there's there's a lot order? more than that, trust okay. me. Oh, okay. Listen, you guys got to be specific with these things. That's true. I would it's got to be perfect. Do you know how many people out there are trying to put on shows? Have you seen the Omahans? Fucking blows us away. Have you seen the fucking Ukrainians? Makes us look like a bunch of amateurs. Have you seen the Bronx boys? Have you seen the hair, the dead hair down the drain guys? Kills us. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All we have are the details, man. <laughs> well, you know, the uh, beauty's in the details, right? Well, I think it's the devils in the details. Oh, like, whatever. Like, Shut up. You damn with yeah. the see there you get, get it over with fight fight or, fight, uh, fight 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 uh, Dave is, is yeah. anybody want to say hi to you today by any chance uh, sure I can uh, say yeah. hi to people if you like yeah well someone I like is kind of what you said well you I don't have a lot of uh, people to say hi to not getting the same you know I can say hi to a few I guess. <laughs> so stupid. Love it. Start the other audio. Here you go. <laughs> I love it. Aren't being a producer, isn't it, Dave? Hi, family. 
I just wanted to say that I love you, and Ribo loves you, and Chris loves you too, and I wanted to give a special shout out to some of the fans that keep writing the show and keeping us afloat. Jimmy Badwell from the cold, cold, broken old cracks in the cement streets of River Avenue, Osborne Village, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Jimmy Badwell, we see you. Dave, Ryan, and Chris, we love you. We'll turn down the theme music for you. Winata Went from Bedford, Pennsylvania, home of Cannondale. Ha ha! We ride bikes too. Everybody probably does. I always like to tell people, you ride bike? I say, I ask, and I say, I ride bike too. Cannondale headquarters, <laughs> Bedford, Pennsylvania. Randy West from the Napa Valley. Randy, one stick and two balls, if you know what I mean. <laughs> we love you, Randy. And oh, I'd love to do a shout out, seeing as we're talking about your type of guy, because we're for everyone. Tom Byron, we love you, Tom, and we see you, oh, and Tom we've Byron. seen you grow up. We watch your band, and we love your hair, and uh, everything else about you. So, Winnipeg, <laughs> family, from us, Chris, Ryan, and Dave, we love you, family. That's great stuff. Couldn't have put it any better myself, Dave. There's something you said that was very funny. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I just want to say this uh, just before we continue. <laughs> I'm staying right now at the Hyatt. And uh, I was eating on the last episode. This is a, a remnant of the cheese. I'm not going to do that because I'm a professional. Okay. <laughs> what kind of cheese is that? The pecora or romana? Is it a scamorza? What do you got there? So I got a letter from the Hyatt Regency in Miami. By the time this airs, you can't see me in the lobby because we'll be gone two weeks ago. And they, get me a, they gave me a letter. So I'm going to open it and read it here live on Winnipeg. Whoa, that's what? Cool. That's big news, right? This is big time, yeah. This is, this, and this is, not, this is uh, first time ever. I'm not sure exactly what this is going to say. Let's see what it says. All right. It says, Dear Christopher, that's me. It should say Irvas, but that's okay. Welcome to the Hyatt Regency, Miami. We are delighted to welcome you as a guest. It actually says, We are delighted to welcoming you as our guest. That's terrible grammar. Welcome. Wow. You. Yeah. yeah. We are welcoming you as our guest. That's terrible. They give this to you as, as a present. We hope you enjoy your. Miami, and we look forward to exceeding your expectations during your stay. Am I frozen? Yeah, you're frozen. Yeah, you uh, froze a little bit, but yeah, that's okay. We, I, we can still. Yeah. <laughs> the frozen? internet killed your bit, man. Yeah. We, can, we can see that. Should you need anything at all, do not hesitate to call Ribo at 576. Go f your ass. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> 